And now taking a look at some Virginia news that affects Southside. Cardinal News is reporting that Governor Glenn Youngkin's significant amendments to legislation seeking to establish a regulatory framework and tax structure for so-called skill games would ban small businesses from offering the electronic betting machines in some cities. Now, that would include Danville, Virginia, Martinsville, Virginia, Roanoke, and Bristol. Young can also want cities and counties to ban the games in their localities, charge 9,000 or have that ability to ban the games within their localities, charge $9,000 for licenses and transfer regulatory power from the alcoholic beverage control to the Virginia lottery. Now, that would cause a significant delay in making the games legally available after they were first banned in the Commonwealth in 2020. Virginia State Senator Aaron Rouse of Virginia Beach, the sponsor of Senate Bill 212, slammed Governor Youngkin's last-minute amendments to the proposal as a slap in the face of thousands of small businesses across the state that have relied on the revenue from the electronic betting machines. Youngkin took action on Rouse's measure just minutes before the constitutionally mandated deadline of 11.59 p.m. on Monday night, April the 8th, offering a wide slate of changes that the lawmaker lamented as a complete rewrite of his original proposal, which passed in the Senate by a 32 to 8 bipartisan vote and in the House by 51 to 45 during the 2024 legislative session. Virginians Against Neighborhood Slot Machines, a coalition that launched an advertising campaign to voice opposition against the legalization of skill games, applauded the governor's effort. But Rich Kelly, the president of Virginia Merchants and Amusement Coalition called Youngkin's amendments devastating, adding that Rouse's measure would have offered a lifeline to small businesses by allowing them to supplement their income with critical new revenue from highly regulated skill games. While Youngkin didn't reject the legislation outright, his amendments would make it more difficult and costly for businesses to offer skill games and for patrons to find places where they can play those games. Youngkin's proposal prohibits the operation of the games within a certain distance of casinos, horse racing facilities, schools, daycare centers, and places of worship. Skill games would be banned within a 35-mile radius of licensed casinos, including Danville Casino, the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Bristol, and other gaming establishments, such as Rosie's Gaming Emporium in Collinsville and in Vinton. Young can further wants to limit the number of permits for businesses to operate skill games to 20,000 across the state. Now, convenience stores would have to purchase a non-refundable $9,000 license, plus pay $750 per year per electronic gaming device, capped at three per store. Applicants that meet the definition of a truck stop would have to pay $21,000 in licensing fees and a cap of seven devices. Youngkin's amendments also give localities the ability to ban skill games, and it offers local voters the opportunity to seek a ballot referendum. In his amended legislation, Governor Youngkin's amendments hand over regulating skill games to the Virginia Lottery, which would begin accepting applications on January the 1st of 2025 and would have to begin building a regulatory framework from scratch. The Virginia General Assembly is set to take up Governor Youngkin's amendments when it reconvenes on April the 17th. Lawmakers may approve or reject some of the governor's proposed amendments and send the legislation back to his desk. Now, there is a lot more to this story, including some comments by Danville City Manager Ken Larking, and you can read more about that by going to cardinalnews.org. Once again, that website, cardinalnews.org.